Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Graveyard Keeper. So, did he leave this on infinite or has it changed? It is still on infinite, which means that we could set it to infinite up at the top end and then they will only bring back smaller amounts of it. They, they, they won't bring back loads of it. I'm thinking this is a good thing. I'm thinking this is a very, very good thing. Whether or not... Uh, well, I suppose it doesn't matter about the, the, the rest of it. We, we can carry that ourselves, can't we? So, let's have a look a minute. We've got... Um, shop... Uh, we've got... Yeah, we've got... Wow, we've got 90 of them there. Right, 90 is doing pretty good, I think. And i got three of these here as well. Put those in. And what have I got down here? I got that, and I got another 11 of them there. I'll leave the flitches behind, and I'll take those 11 so we can run these down to the bottom. It's soon going to be prayer day, and we're also going to want to deal with the rest of those zombies. We don't have the donkey traveling at the moment. We've sort of put the donkey on hold for a minute. So I'm going to go into... Oh, actually, no, I didn't want to do that, did I? Putting all of these down here. Well, I will. I'll put those down there. Because what I'll do now is I'll go back up here and I'll set this guy doing infinite ones of them. And th they'll sort of work between the two of them. He'll finish doing that bit there. And then if I go to craft here, wooden billet, that makes four of them. So I go back to craft and I just switch that over to infinite like that. He'll keep making them and then he'll keep making them and everybody will be happy. I can put that one there in. The other zombie will be back soon. And we're going to have prayer day very soon as well. But what we actually want to do is we want to take a zombie with us. So I need a new zombie. i got one zombie up the top. And we want to go and have a look and we want to see what he's getting up to. But at the moment, that is all we've got. So let's have a look here. I've done all of this. I have now done all the embalming. So I'm going to take that one over and I'm going to drop him on there. So we will take the blood out. Yes. And then I will take the fat out as well. And that will give us another uh, thingy on the body. There we go. There's another skull on there. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So we'll take that one and then we will teleport straight up to the quarry. Ah! Oh. No. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Don't want to teleport to the quarry at all. I want to turn it into a zombie before I teleport to the quarry. Oh, Frith, you idiot. You absolute moron. Now i got to carry it all the way back. It's probably going to go bad before I get there. This was not how it was supposed to happen. It really wasn't. I was not supposed to do it like this. Let's go in front of George here. Um... <laughs> Oh, I got that really wrong that time. <laughs> that was really bad. Okay, that, that was definitely brilliant. Um, bring this one down here. We should, Actually, it's, it doesn't take that long to do the trip, really, does it? You think about it. I know that, you know, we, we sort of wait in order to be able to do this. No, I want to bring it over this way. How bad is that deteriorate? No, only, we've lost 4% on the body. That's pretty good going, I'd say. That is pretty darn good going. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Let's take that zombie and drop him down there. That's not even halfway done yet. I could do... I tell you what, I've actually got enough time, I think, to lug this bad boy back up there and put him going on something and then get back down... Uh, uh, well, then I'll teleport back down with one of those logs. I'm going to angle across this way underneath the, the forest, except that I'm just going to get stuck in amongst all the trees, aren't I? Just make life easy for me. Nope, nope. We we can fairly easily angle our way in between all of them. And then we come straight up across here. This is quicker than I thought it would be. This is definitely quicker than I thought it was. Right, so we bring you up to there. I've got one item there. And... He's busy working over there. I'm going to put the other guy here into the quarry, so he's going to go as well. Right? I got no sort of symbols or anything there. 
I am going to have a look down here. We've got one of those on there now. We've got one on there. And in the chest. Ah, right. Excellent. That is absolutely fan -shmabulous. We've got coal in the chest. So they do actually mine out both. They mine the coal and they mine the iron ore as well. So I'm going to want three zombies down here working on these. I've got two up there. I'm going to want one zombie working on here as well. And I'm going to want more chests. So I need simple iron parts and I need flitches. That's easy enough. Right, well, before we worry about teleport stone, is still deteriorating. Still cooling. Right, well, I'll tell you what. I will grab a piece of timber. Now I can use it. Use and sweet home Alabama. That's the one we want. Drop you into there. And uh, it's prayer day. I need to go and say my prayer. So I'll do that. I've got three gravestones on me, or three graveyard fences. So I can use those as well. We'll go in through the front entrance of the church. And we can put down some grave fences onto the graves that need them. Except that they've all got them on there already. Let's drop those three up. Yeah, they've all got them. So... That's the first thing we're going to do, is we're going to concentrate on getting the zombies up the top. Once we've got the zombies up the top, then we can start working on the graveyard, and we're going to empty out the graveyard. That's our next task, is I want to quite literally empty that graveyard. Take everything out that I possibly can, as quickly as I can. So removing all of the stones and everything like that, um, and body bodies, and making a whole load of marble fences and stuff like that. I don't know if the quality of the graveyard has gone up. 168. 168. That's, is that down? I'm pretty sure that's down on what it was previously. Uh, I don't actually know. I think it might be down a little bit. It's not down very much, surely. I genuinely don't know at the moment whether it's up or down on what it was. Hmm. That's peculiar. Right. I'll drop you in there. I'll dump those in here as well. And I am just going to run over and I'm going to see Clotho a second. And we'll grab another thing of gold from her. We can make the rest. And we also need to put some more glass going. But we don't have very much coal at the moment. So we're going to have to get some more coal. That's the only thing now is I want a coal mine. Because I was getting lots and lots of coal. And now the coal is less so. I, I, I have less of it. And this is not necessarily a good thing. Um, so is there another coal mine somewhere? Or is that it? You know, was building the zombie thing like a, a little tiny bit of a mistake maybe? I'll just take the one I think. I don't think I've got anything else that I want. Um, no. I don't want anything else. I'm just going to take you. Oh, I know what I will do. Uh, do I want to buy some of these? I don't know if I do or I don't. I've, I've not bought any yet. Two, three, four of them. One, two, three, four of them. We get those and we will plant them because, yeah, I, I genuinely don't know if we want them or not really because, well, we haven't built any yet, but there may still be a decent use for them. We, we may be glad of those. Um, I want some flitches to take with me and some simple iron parts so that I can make some chests up there. I'm going to want to make a couple of chests, I think, so that we've got a load... Oh, actually, no. I don't need to worry about that, I don't think. I think the zombies will bring down the coal and everything else. So what I'm really going to want is a load of chests down here. I think that's what I'm going to want. Right, well, first up, I'm going to... Oh, right, so I need... I've got that. I want uh, sticks and I want compost. I have sticks here somewhere. I've got lots and lots of wedges. And I've also got lots of the other ones. What about you? There, I've got four sticks. Is that all I've got in the way of sticks? These guys are quite noisy, aren't they? Ah, no, there's some more sticks. Right, that's good. A few more sticks is all we want. So if I have a look on here, I'll take that off now. And I'll just finish up doing those two. And I'll go to you as well. And i got 80 of them at the moment. 
I'll take that one off as well. I'll leave that one like that. And then I will come down here. Those are ready for harvesting. I'm not going to worry about it right now. I am going to take that and I'll also take that one. Because I'm going to use that. I'll put that one in the church and we'll, we'll set that one going in just a second. Uh, I'm going to go here. So I've got one, two, three, four of those. And the berry bushes down this side. I'll leave the ones in the middle for now. There. Right. I do have to build each one, but that should be... Yeah, that is pretty quick. There we go. Build you as well. I don't have anything else that I need to do to them. So I've only just got to build them and then we leave them and we harvest them whenever they're ready. I'm thinking we will probably, if we do decide to get some more, maybe get some apples up through the middle rather than anything else. Uh, but we'll see on that front. I'm not quite sure at the moment. So there's another one. And you. And then one more here. And we've got all of those done. Right. Now we can wander back down into here. I've got that uh, one moth in here that I in my bag that I wanted to take with me. I want to put that one into this one right here and distill that one. I'm going to distill it into its component juices. In the meantime, I'm going to go over here and I'm going to take that one there. Empty table and we bring you over and we put you down and we autopsy you. So we take the blood out like that. And then we autopsy again, and we take the fat out. That's so all I'm going to remove. I'll take those two out, because it's going to give me the best possible quality body. As you get more skulls on your bodies, you get better quality uh, zombies. And, that, and that's what you want. So the, the best quality zombies are the ones that have got the highest amount of skulls on them. So I will take you, and I will teleport. Yeah, I will. I'll teleport anyway. Uh, we'll go up to the quarry. Like that, and I'm going to bring you down here, and I'm going to put you to work on this one here. So we will go like this, and I want to go here. Uh, iron ore. Right. Start working that, and then I go back to craft, and I put that one on infinite, like that. And then I will also go here. Nope. Piece of marble. Put that one up, and I put that one on infinite as well. And that one... I don't want pieces of stone, I don't think. I think it's just marble and that that I'm going to want. So they'll he'll start working through them, and then he will add them to the chest. 15 iron ore, 21 coal extracted so far, and a piece of marble. I've got 50 of them here at the moment. I'm going to need to come back with a load more. I also want to come back with some of those bits. Uh, there's two silver nuggets there, which I will take with me. I don't know if I left them there or if the zombies found them for me. And so, actually, I don't need to worry about that one. All I'm going to want to do is this one over here. See, they're taking their time. I think that one's going faster than the other one. So I want to get two of them on here. I think there I can do that. And then I go there and that one I put on infinite as well, like that. So the zombies will keep taking that out. And then they'll keep working there, and then the porter stations will bring everything down. Which, I don't want them to bring those big ones down, I want them to bring this stuff down. That's what I want them to bring down. They can't do this um, anything else. Okay, so I will take this piece of timber, and we will run back home, rather than worrying about waiting for the teleport stone. And then we can get another zombie up here. Next task is to get some zombies into porter stations. The marble bit will wait. Um... Actually, will we? I think we're... Well, we do want to get zombies into the porter stations. I want to get three zombies in three porter stations up there. and So I want five more zombies up there. That's the plan now. I need five more zombies up there. Um, so we've got three working the porter stations, two in the mine, two in the quarry. And then we've also got the one working the... Um, uh, the, the other, what do you call, up there. The... Um, the stone thing this one that that one up there I don't know what it's called now right so we drop you down there what have I got on me uh, I got a lot of excess stuff I come down here I've got excess stuff or oh, I have got a little bit of excess stuff I want to leave here drop that one behind 
And then I've got no coal at all left. I've got 19 there. 19 fuel in that one. And this one over here. Oh, I've got 480 in this one. So I am able to make some flasks here. So I will make all the flasks I can with my 480. There. It's another 16 conical flasks. And is there anything else I'm carrying that I want to unload at the moment? I've got 10 flasks. I want flitches. And I'm thinking it would be a good idea if I take some of the flitches with me. There's got to be some around here. I'll tell you what, I'll leave the silver. I'll leave that behind. I do want to get some... I've got flitches here. Where are they? Where are these flitches? I want to take those. Take that. Just that one stack. That's why I was doing it like that. And I got more silver there, which I'll put down into the other chest. And that, and that. No, I don't have any room for that now. Uh, what else do I want to take? Got limestone. I got a little bit of coal. Nails. Are, where's? What did I do with the flitches? I had flitches somewhere. Where did I put them? Those two there. Oh, I knew I had clay. The sand. Right, yeah, I'm, I'm just trying to have a little bit of a tidy up between some of these chests. So if I take that clay out of there, I can bring it over here. I think I can put a zombie on there making some of those. That's going to be something that we want to do at some point soon. And let's have a look in this one. I got more sand in there. Oop. Leave the silver behind. And then I go into there and I drop that sand in there. See, we're already taking up less space. This is a good thing. We want to take up less space. But what I also want to do is find the flitches. It's a new game that we're playing. It's called Find the Flitch. And I don't know where I went and left the flitches. It's not there. I had up there 25 flitches. Right, we'll take those. And I'm carting around... Why am I... Oh, was, I, I was carting it around for that. So I can go back over here and I can leave that compost behind now. I don't need that. Um, I will go back over this way and I will get in here. There we go. Right, take a load of those. Do I want to take any more? Do I want to leave... Oh, I can leave those behind so I can take another one of them. Right. So now I've got 200 more of the wooden wedges, which are going to be rather useful up in the quarry. We come back down here. Next, I've got those two. Right, well, I'm going to need... Oh, this one. Empty table. Let's just put you on here. What have we got? I can take these out. So I will remove those items from this one. Like that. That's one extra. And then there is another extra skull as well. Fan schmastic. Brilliant. Take that one off of there. Uh, you want to come over this way. I'm going to set you down there a minute. And I'm going to go into here. And I'm going to drop those two down. And then I will pick you up. And I will bring you down this way. And I will put you on there. And I will resurrect you. And then once you've been resurrected. We will grab you. And we'll bring you back this way. I'm going to go. The reason I'm doing this is because I want to grab the, the bits that are over here. And let's drop you there a second. Pick those up. Put you into this chest. And then I've got more stuff that I want to get rid of, which is that one, and those as well. And the paper. The rest can stay. Right, we'll keep hold of the rest. We'll use that. So then we come back over here. We pick you up and we teleport all the way back up to the quarry with yet another zombie. Okay, so he is busy working there. What have we got in here? So we've now got 25 and 21. So he is working. We've got two silver nuggets. I'm going to take those out. I'm going to put those there. I'm going to build another trunk. And I'm going to put that one right beside it there. Because just in case we want it. I don't think we need any more at the moment. But we might. So let's just build this trunk. There. And you're busy. Plus these two over here are busy. That one's almost done. Ah, look. They go they go with the other one first, and then they go with coal. And then he starts working on the iron. 
And that one there, that one's not as good a quality zombie, so I need a better quality zombie. So it's working slower than the other one, but there's 28 coal that we've got now. So you don't get loads of coal, but it does work. So what was this quality one over here? I don't want to take. Actually, I will. I'll, I'll just take. Um, I can't look at him. I can't see his quality. That's a shame. Well, I know that he's not great. I wonder if there's a way that I can see where my zombies are in here. I don't think there is. Ah. Right, well, we'll put you in here. Cargo, he's taking everything that he can. He's already off. He's, he's gone. And he's taken everything that was in there. He's taken the lot. He's just up, grabbed it, and run. Well, that's great. That is actually really, really good. So, all I want now... Actually, I'm going to... I don't know if I need to worry about loads of extra zombies at the moment. I mean, yes, extra zombies are obviously going to be quite useful. But it doesn't appear that we really need to worry about them too much right now. Um, see, he's, he's traveling across here. He's going to be fine. If I go over to him like this, take work efficiency 25% he is. That's pretty good. And then... There was the other guy was who's wa walking around here. Just ignore the bats. They're just showing off. That's all they're doing. And then him there, he's 28% work efficiency, so he's even better. But I've heard you can get 19 skulls on your zombies in total. That seems pretty insane, really. Getting 19 skulls on your bodies. Uh, which puts you, I think it's like 45% work efficiency. That's ludicrous. Right, what do I want to build? I'm going to build some more trunks. I'll put one there. And then... Do I build more down here? No, I'm going to do a line of them down here. And you can access them sideways. So I'll do it like that. There. There we go. A whole load of them down there. I'll drop that one down. And then I'll come down over here course I'm never going to be able to find anything ever again once I do this once I have all of these trunks lined up I will never ever be able to find anything again not once ever in the history of the universe will I ever be able to find anything again so we go to here and you can access these all from the side which means that we can just do this and we just go up the line I ought to delete those two and like make more I might actually do I wonder if I should do that. Because that... Yeah. Because it doesn't actually take up... I don't need to. I can just remove that one trunk there. And then make them into a whole load more. So let's open this up. I've got simple iron parts left. And nails. And then a flitch. And I've got two silver nuggets there. Which are that one. Those in there. Now where's our zombie from up north? Has he been and gone yet? There's one way to find out. 35. He has. He's already been here and gone again. That's pretty awesome. Let me grab these items here. And then we're going to go and get some sleep a minute, I think. And what else is it that we want to do? We want to get another zombie up to the top. And that one can start working on the quarry. I think that's the last good one that we've got. And then... We can either go and do more quests, or we can keep work. I, I want to work on the graveyard a bit. I really want to get that graveyard done. I, I want to get more stuff done on the graveyard. I really, really do. So, um, look in here. Yeah. I think working on the graveyard has got to be our next priority. We take those. We're going to need a lot more of those conical flasks and stuff. But we're now getting a supply of coal coming down. It's going to be just trickling down slowly. It is it is slow, admittedly, but it is it, it is on its way down. Right, so that body there, that's a seven. That one can drop in on there. And then you over here, take that one out, and you can drop onto there, and we take these two out. And that is a good quality one that we can put to work. We go to there, and we go to there as well. Take that one out. Right. We've now got a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So there's a 10 there. It's not wonderful. It's not perfect. But it is still a 10. So we'll put that one into there. And we'll resurrect it. 
Let that one come back to life. And then you, I'm going to take you immediately up here to the quarry. And you're going to be the first of the zombies to go to work in the actual quarry, uh, the marble quarry up here. You're going to start working on there. And if I go craft, see that's on infinite. Permanently on infinite. And then you down here, those two are both permanently on infinite. Nothing in there. And I got seven coal in that one that's a little bit closer. So when this zombie comes back, he'll carry that seven coal. He's not going to worry about taking anything else. He'll take the seven coal and he'll run off with that. So as we've now removed all of the other pieces of timber from up here, let's dig that one up. And we'll take another piece. I'm not going to worry about taking like lots of little bits. Uh, trying to push one along either. Nope. Um, well, you know what? i tell you what. We're going to go this way. There's a reason for this. We're going to head down this way. And we're going to speak to Clotho. And then we can get another gold elixir thing from her. And I also might grab a bit more sand while I go past the river. Right, well I've grabbed a bit of sand. But I've now broken my shovel. So I'm going to need to repair that one before I can do any more. That is the shovel too. So they do actually still get damaged. Just not anywhere near as fast as the shovel one. Which I actually thought, for um, to start with, that they didn't get damaged at all. But yeah, they do. A little bit. Not very much, but it's enough. Now, we're running here. So we've got four zombies up at the top now. Uh, no, we don't. We've got five, because we've got the porter guy as well. So we've got five zombies working up the top. We come in here, and we will grab another trade from you, which is just that one. That's all I need from you. Uh, we'll come out of there. And then the next thing that I want to do is I'll come back and I'll grab my log over here and we'll take that one with us. And then I've got enough um, pieces of glass now, I think, in order to make another four injections, which is good because one of those I will want in the quarry up north. And then a few more zombies down here. And then we're, we're just kind of looking at improving the quality of the bodies overall then after that. Getting those out of the graveyard, that's another big move that we want to be t um, taking now, is just removing all of the stuff from the graveyard. Uh, Alright, let's drop you there. And five of these over here. Got four more flasks. So we've got flasks here. I'm going to get some more water, because I don't think I've got enough for making very many more injections. I think you can put a zombie on here as well. I want to see if I can put a zombie on there because I got another couple of columbariums that I want to make. Well, I've got I got at least one columbarium that I want to make. Actually, I think I need to make the clay for that. Let's have a look. I can craft here. Oh no, I don't. Right. Well, that's twenty. That's the. I'll do ten in here at the minute. I'll do ten lots of this. Make up these, and then I can turn those... I think i got to use the furnace to do that. Turn them into jugs, and then after that I turn them into the porcelain ones, which I've then got to use... Right, let's have some of those. Um, turn them into the porcelain ones. i got to use the white powder, which comes from bones. Right, we've got a load of ceramic bowls. We've got more fuel that we can now put in here, so I'm going to add 30 coal in there, so we don't... Yep, the, the coal is good. We're doing all right with that. And it's in here that I want ceramic jug. Oh, one single lot will get me the ten jugs that I need. That's actually pretty cool. We've got another one there. There's another glass jar. And the other thing, I'm going to want ten white powders next. Have I got that? i got nine white powders. Okay, I need to go and get one more white powder. So we're going to do that a minute. We've got to grind up some bone in order to get that. While we're waiting for those ceramic ones to make. And that is the grinder up here, isn't it? It's this one. This one right here. So where's the bones? There. We move to do that one. Craft. And that makes a white powder. We get three lots of that. I'll do a couple of these then. And so that makes uh, six. And that will be nine. And then that would be twelve. 12, which would be just right because then we've got enough to make two more columbariums 
should we need them? I don't know if we want two columbariums. I don't actually know if we can fit two columbariums in very tightly or not. There's something that we'll have to find out. But we can find that out very, very quickly. Because I've got enough of everything here to be able to do that. Just waiting on that one to finish cooking. I've got another one of these over here that has finished cooking. I need another furnace, really. I could actually do another... How much was the furnace? I can't ever remember how much furnaces were. Uh, let's drop you down there, then. And go to you. Right, a furnace. A furnace two. 20 stone, 8 complex iron parts. Oh, furnace 3. 10 complex iron parts, 20 stone, and 2 pigskin paper. It's exactly the same. Oh, no, 8. And that's 10. Ah, I see. Right, uh, 2 pigskin paper is really what we need. And then a little bit of stone. The stone should be simple enough. Uh, there's 10 of them. And then porcelain pitchers. Oh, I need 2 white powder for each of these. I want 10 porcelain pitchers right there. So there's 20 white powder. I'm going to go with one of those first. And we're going to get some more white powder. And some pigskin paper as well. Oh, I also got the buckets. I want to use those. Oops. Use up them. Like that. And then we can come back down here. So I've got 12 white powder on me, which means I must have had some white powder elsewhere. So I will get another lot. And then I've got 20 porcelain pitchers that I can put going. So I'll craft you. Uh, another 8. So well, I'll, I'll make the 9. So I want 3 lots. And there's one. And there's another one. Right. So that's enough white powder to do 2 lots. 21 there. I can go up to here, and I'll leave behind that, and I'll leave behind all the water, and I'll leave behind those, and that one, and I won't leave behind anything else. And then I will go over this way, and I'm going to tidy things up a little bit if I can. I'm going to leave that, and I'll take that with me, and that one. The rest can stay. Oh, I'll take that with me. Right. Then I can take these over here. This is one thing. I really do like this, but it's very easy to have everything all mussed up, isn't it? Um, take that water. And then I'll put the water in this one. Water can go in here, as can that, and as can that. So I've got three golden elixirs now. I've actually got, I think, enough of everything to be able to make two more rounds of each of the um, injections. Which will be quite handy. We'll be doing that in a minute. But let's go back up this way first. And we want to get our porcelain pitchers going next. So I've got... Those should be very nearly almost done. These are done over here. So I can put ten lots going in this one. Porcelain pitcher. I have no fuel. Let's go there for fuel. There, see I've got two lots of fuel there. That's 360. Okay, so then I come back over here. Porcelain pitcher. And six, that's 208, 9, 10, 350. Just enough fuel there for that. So I'll put that going. I don't have enough. I did miscalculate. Completely and horribly miscalculated. I've only got enough for five there. I need to go and get another. Actually, how many have I got? I got nine, ten. I have exactly 10, so I need another few lots of... I don't I don't think I've even got enough bones to grind up for it. This is not good, because I don't think I've been... No, not in there, is it? Of course it's not. It's in here. Oh, I do. I've got 15 bones right there. That's good. Okay. For a minute, I thought I didn't actually have enough, because you can't grind the skulls up, which... That does seem a little bit odd, doesn't it? You can have the bone and you can grind them up, but you can't grind up the skulls. And, yeah... You'd think that you'd be able to do both together, wouldn't you? You you would actually be able to do both. So let's do that again. Uh, there's three. That makes nine. That make uh, no. That makes six. Sorry. That makes not uh, nine there, and then that one there will make twelve. Right. So now we have twelve of these. We can run back through yet again and go and put the porcelain pitchers running. There, ten porcelain pitchers. And then I've got two white powder left for one more, should I need it. I'll leave those behind. I don't have the white powder on me. I'll leave the... Actually, I'm not going to leave the sand there. I'll leave the sand somewhere else. Uh, 
The rest of that stuff can stay right there. And then we will come back over this way. We'll run down here and go into this one. Nope, this one. Ah, there, sand. Right. So there I've got some sand. And I don't need anything else. So now I've just got to wait for those porcelain pitchers to make. There's one porcelain pitcher there. These do actually take quite a while. So I'm not that fussed about how long they're going to take. Uh, they'll take as long as they take, really. We will just leave them there for a minute. I'm not going to worry about them. And I'm going to head down this way. And I'm going to start working on the graveyard. We want to start removing some more bodies. That's got to be our next thing. We want to clear the graveyard of bodies. Whilst at the same time, like, clearing a load more as well. Uh, I'm going to start over this side, clearing the simple ones. And we go with you. So you are going to be the first one. We'll take that gravestone there and remove. And... Just wondering if I should remove... A, well, I'll, I'll do that, actually. I'll, I'll remove all the gravestones that I can carry for a minute. Uh, remove you. Take you off. And then get the next one as well. There, take that gravestone off. See, we, we don't actually have very much in the way of quality bodies here. These are very, very low quality. See, look at that. Extremely low quality bodies. So, we'll remove all of these... And then we'll be able to put some new bodies in here. So exhume that one. Okay. I'm going to need some more exhumation things. Take that body. This one's going to go straight for burning. I'm going to bring that one down and I'm going to drop it there. And then I'm going to go back up. Actually, I'm going to go this way and I'm going to get a stack of exhumation permissions. Uh, let's just keep doing that. I mean, if we got... I'm going to need a lot of these. Uh, 15, 18, 20. Right, that'll do for a minute. Go for 20. How much have I spent? I've still got 2 gold 40, so I haven't actually spent very much. And we'll drop those 20 in there. This stuff I want to keep. I've got stone and peat down in here already, so I don't need to change that. Uh, so all I really want to do is I want to start working on these exhumations and getting these bodies out of it. These are such poor quality bodies that we're just going to... We're not even going to bother taking them into the morgue. We're just going to run them straight over and burn them. And it's probably quicker if I do them one at a time. So there, we put that one on there and start you... Oop, start you burning like that. And I will go and get the next one. That one right there. And I'll put that one on as well. Get that one going. I've got loads of things there that I can set burning so we'll be able to use all of them put you up and get you cooking and then we can go back and get another body and we've actually started now we're going to lose some quality in our graveyard admittedly um oh wait a minute my shovel's broken I'm able to dig them up without a shovel but I'm not able to put them back in without a shovel so we'll go and get a shovel, and then we can at least start putting some bodies back in when we get some better quality ones. Maybe I ought to have the donkey coming back. Um, no, I'm not going to at the moment. I'm I'm not going to have the donkey coming back just yet. We're gonna we're gonna empty it out, even though it's not ideal having um, the quality of the graveyard is going to be like drastically reduced because it's all going to be open. I still think it's the right way to do it. And I love the way they've done that. It's now that all of those things, they now drop straight into the, the whetstones. They go straight back into the chest. Don't go anywhere else. They just go straight back into the chest. I think that's wonderful. Uh, I don't even know where the whetstone is, to be honest. Right, I want to leave that one behind. I don't know why I'm bringing the gravestones over here. I don't think it matters. I can't put them in that chest. I can put them in there, though. Like that. And then go to you. Craft. There. A piece of stone. And I'll infinite that one. A polished brick of stone. A piece of stone. A polished brick of stone. Right. I'm going to infinite these. All of these at the moment. Because this is something that we're going to be working on. Like that. Polished brick of stone infinite order on that one so they should now he should now work through all of those and generate a load of stone 
So that guy's coming in. I don't know where he went to, but um, yeah, he, he did do whatever he was supposed to do. I know that much. Let's get back over to the graveyard and get some more bodies out and burnt. So the really poor quality ones we won't worry about. We've got some reasonable quality ones over this side that we'll start looking at. Some of these are actually marble fences that we've got here. Um, but no, it's these down here that we want. So you right there. See this one here. This is, this is a very good quality body. We'll have that one. That's like, that is a, that, that's a perfect body that we've got there. Wait a minute. That's one that I've already worked on and I ought to put a fence around it. I think that's one that I brought. Yeah, I did. I brought that one back and I should put a fence around it. That just needs a marble fence. All right, I'll take it up this side. And I'll drop it in there a minute. There. Cover him over. And you have a look here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's as good as it's going to get. So we put that one on there and we'll put the fence on. So that one is good quality. And then just so that we know what we're doing, we'll remove everything on this side. Down here. Just this edge. I'll remove all of the other bits on it. So that the only grave fences that we've got here... Um, are the marble ones and we know that those are graves that we want to keep in place so I'll take you off as well that stone grave fence too that one can come off and then we've got those bits down there as well not enough energy there we go right uh, oh I need to catch some Z's now I am burning energy fast uh, you right there remove we will go and catch our Z's in a minute. We are desperately going to need those as well. Look at the speed that it's dropping. Take you out. And I may as well get some more from over here. We've got to take all of this lot out anyway. So I'll take you off. And then I'll take that one off as well. Some of these bodies, they might actually be all right. We might be able to do something with them. So we've got the stone cross there. That's, that's quite a good quality decoration, really. It seems a bit of a shame to chuck that one. And then we've got the grave fence right there. Can I get that one before I run out of energy? I can, just. So there. We've got all of those. I've now run out of energy, so I'm going to need to run back this way. Drop these in for the various different zombies to do their magic with. Um, I'm not going to worry about one of them doing anything. Actually, yeah, it's him that does it, isn't it? So let me have a look in here. All I got to do is drop all of that in like that. See? And then he's going to get started on it. And then this guy over here, if I go to there, do we break apart the wooden ones? Maybe we don't. Oh. I thought we broke apart wooden decorations. Oh, hang on a minute. What about you? Yes. No? Yeah. There. Turns it into firewood. Right. So I want that one there. And I'm going to put you on infinite. I'll pick up all of those items. I've actually now got enough to make a columbarium. So if I go into there a second. One, two, three, four. There's ten of those. We'll get some sleep. And then we can go and make our next... Co well, I don't actually have the marble to make the columbarium. But I, I've got everything else that I need to make it. I just don't have the marble for it. Just wondering if I should worry about it. I, I think I will. I think I will do it. We've got other things that we're doing in the bodies as well. We may as well get the marble columbarium. I can't remember what we need for it. Ooh, there, that's what I want. Right, porcelain funeral urn. I want to make ten of these. So I'm short by five ash for the next one. But there, it's ten that you need, wasn't it? I'm, well, I'm... 90% certain it was 10. Let's have a look. Is that, that one's been studied and oh, I think the others, that well, they're already locked up. But um, I'm pretty sure they've all been studied as well. We've studied all of the urns that we need. Oh, wait a minute. No. It's 12. Don't forget, it's 12 urns, not 10. It's 12. 12 is the magic number. I'm going to need some more. Right, well, let me just do these two. I nearly forgot that. I'm very glad that I did remember right at the very end. You're probably laughing at me right now because you probably realise that it's not 12 at all and that I've got it completely wrong. There is a polished bit of marble. Uh, 
I don't know if a carved piece of stone is right. I've got four polished pieces of... I, I don't remember what we need for the columbarium. Probably I need more polished pieces of marble or something. We're going to have a look. Run around this way. We can dig some more bodies out of the graveyard as well. I'm thinking that in our next episode, we're going to make some very, very fast progress with that. And we're going to do very well. So stone prayer station. I don't want to worry about that. Marble column. Oh, Ah, right. I need carved... I've got the four of those, but I need two carved pieces of marble as well. That's simple enough to get. I'll do that in our next episode rather than today. I'll leave those all behind. And then we'll come over this way and we will dig up this grave right here. Exhume. See, it's only got three in there. It's just not worth me bothering with. So I'll grab you up. And I'll run you around this way. Down we go back down the bottom here and I really do think I've run out of time for today's episode I'm gonna have to leave this and we're gonna have to come back so we'll put you there and I grab that lot there and we'll head back up I think and we'll get a bit of rest so that it sort of brightens up a bit and then in our next episode I am determined to keep working on this I want to clear that one out now Take out everything that I can. I will make two pieces of stuff over this side. Because we're now getting a supply of marble coming down. We've got pieces of marble turning up. And we've got coal turning up. And then we've also got somewhere in one of these chests. Somewhere. Not sure where it is. But we should also be getting... Where's it going to be? Nope. And uh, nope. I'm sure it's here somewhere. Nope. Uh, there, right. So we've also got iron ore coming down as well. We've got everything that we want coming down this way. The only thing that I don't know about is whether or not we've got any bits, um, uh, whether the zombies can, like, find, uh, gold and, uh, silver and stuff like that. Uh, we'll find that out in a future episode. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.